Well, morning. I, I, I just had to stop when I walked past Senator Birmingham and heard those prepared lines about Western Sydney. Imagine getting a lecture about what, what we need in Western Sydney from a South Australian senator. It's just bizarre. It probably has never been in Western Sydney for years. I live in the Lower Blue Mountains. I've lived in Western Sydney uh, all of my time in, uh, in, in Sydney. And I have to say the issues uh, for people in Western Sydney are not temporary protection visas, let me tell you that. No one comes to me and says we need temporary protection visas to make our life better. They talk to me about the transport system. They talk to me about the lack of public transport. They talk to me about getting more jobs in Western Sydney. They talk to me about getting better education and better health. And the nonsense that you've heard this morning from the coalition in terms of what people in Western Sydney need and want is simply more lines. You saw how well prepared they was and how, how he, you know, it's almost a Richard Burton type approach. Uh, get the lines right and get the, get the, uh, the presentation right and everything will be okay. Well, I think the people in Western Sydney and, and Australians are over this. They want governments that get out there and deal with health. They want governments that get out and deal with education. And they want jobs. And that's what the Labour government does. I'm pleased the Prime Minister is going out to Western Sydney. As I said, I've lived in Western Sydney all of my life in, in, that I've been in, in, in Sydney. And uh, I think Western Sydney uh, people will be glad to see someone out there talking to them. And in terms of whether it's a campaign or not, you have to go out and engage with people. And I think that's the important thing. The Prime Minister is going out to engage with the people in Western Sydney, and I think it's a good thing. Look, I, I, don't, I don't really care uh, what's, what the papers are saying about it. It's the right thing for the Prime Minister to do, to get out to Western Sydney, talk to people about education, talk about health, talk about a manufacturing base being rebuilt in Western Sydney, talk about the, the, uh, uh, the doing the things that the people of Western Sydney really want and uh, not that nonsense that you've just heard uh, from the coalition. And uh, just let me say, I, I didn't hear what Erica Betts was saying, but uh, I did hear Erica Betts in, in the uh, Parliament last night talking about the need for more flexibility uh, for uh, employers. Well, I have to say, Erica Betts was one of the work choice warriors uh, of the, La the Howard government. And when you hear Erica Betts talking about flexibility, you know workers' penalty rates, you know their shift allowances, you know their conditions that are under attack. And that's another issue that the people in Western Sydney and around this country are concerned about, getting decent conditions when they get to work, being treated with respect when they get to work, and they won't have that under a coalition government. Well, as I've said, the biggest issue for people in Western in, in Sydney is infrastructure, it's transport, it's jobs. The, the carbon tax, as I said, people don't come up to me in Penrith, where I, where I live near Penrith. I'm in Penrith all, a lot of the time. They don't come up to me and say, the carbon tax is killing me. They don't do that. They talk about the problems they've got with transport. They want jobs for their kids in the future. They want infrastructure set up in Sydney. And many people have got a good life in Sydney, in Western Sydney. Let's not fall for the nonsense that if you live in Western Sydney, you're living in some kind of hovel. Uh, Western Sydney is a prosperous part of the country. There's two million people out there. There's great people out in Western Sydney. And I think what they'd, they would resent is the condescending approach from the coalition. But they know what, what's good for people in Western Sydney. Well, the Prime Minister's doing the right thing. She's going out to talk to people in Western Sydney and actually get from them firsthand what the issues are. And the issues won't be uh, sending boat people back, turning around the boats, or that bloody rhetorical nonsense from Tony Abbott.